Hello and welcome to American Truck Simulator with me, Kevin Sawyer. Hope you guys and girls are all well and enjoying your day, whatever you're up to. Right, as you can see, I have the data telemetry all set up, um, along with the sim dash as per usual. And as you can see, parked outside waiting waiting for us is the Mac. Like I said in the previous episode, the last episode for the collect data telemetry for the Kenny, that I'll be jumping in this bad boy in the next episode. I'll show you all the um, characteristics where I can. Let's just jump on in. This thing might buzz at me because I, when I was getting loaded, one of the airlines popped off, forklift truck hit hit the trailer quite hard and it just pushed the, one of the connections off of it so you know, I jumped up back out of the cab and in it to reconnect it but it might have been on there loose the, either way so it might buzz like a, like a good one at us uh, but anyway let's um, show you what's going on uh, show you the job first so it's not a long run it's literally a very short run I doubt I'm going to be able to get any good speed out of this uh, but off screen I've been getting this thing and it gets quite hard to push up to top speed anyway with this lower engine uh, I'll show you the engine power and all that malarkey now that isn't the lowest engine in this um, if I actually go to dealership quickly um, do, 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 where's the truck dealer's gone truck dealer and if I go to mm, it's gonna be in Kenworth, I think. Is it Kenworth you buy this from, or is it? But it's good Peterbilt. Are you sure? Okay. No, I don't want to quick travel. I just want. To. Yeah. There we go. I think it's in here. Room serves me right. Sure it's not in Peterbilt. Well, it might well be in Peterbilt. It's been a while since I bought one of these. Uh, let's have a look at Peterbilt then. No. I didn't mean to hit that one by online. As far as it takes an eternity to load up the screen. I think a lot of it's down to mods. And keep looking. Where are you there? Right, was Peter built? Right, if I go in here, I'll show you. Right, this is the lowest engine there is for this. This is DD. Yeah, I suspect it's the same engine that's in the Kenny. So we've already covered that. Um, so I'm not going to cover it again. But I've got this engine here, which is the lowest of the. Uh, Mac engines, and then I'm gonna try and get around the mid range mark. So, roughly here with the M11, and then I'm just say that's not really mid range, is it? Let's have a look. That's 400 brake, so 507, that's mid range, I guess, and then I'll go up to the top, which is the top of the line tuned Mac engine. So that's where I'm going to be balancing it for. So that's the plan. Everything else is going to stay the same. The chassis configuration, the trailer configuration. Um, in fact, what I'd do, let's get out of here. I've got to fire up the old beast anyway, because I suspect the engine, as like I said, the um, engine could do have a bit of a tick over. And I'll show you around the um, trailer. But, get the keys and slot it in oops sorry if I hit the camera let's readjust that zoink there we go um there well, I did have a mod for this that, um, used to be able to well converted all the engines to be an air starter for these but I took it out just so then you guys can get a flavor of what they all sound like individually um, it made them all have an air starter so but as you can see the old beast are still yet to adjust the template so then it doesn't have that lip at the bottom but other than that 
it's still good to go. I've got the standard in-game tyres and wheels on just to give it uh, my catered look. Um, but I'm going to show you the trailer, peeps. Uh, walk down to this one. And as you can see, one you could probably tell by the length of it anyway. It's a lot longer than it was. I've gone for the 54 foot trailer with the triple axle on the back. Now, the reason I've gone for the triple axle, just so it makes it easier steering inside tight yards like this one. Um, getting in and out and back, back, in, back in, in mainly because I found it makes it actually a bit easier. Um, and I've got this little wind deflector. Um, so it would be a slightly heavier trailer than we had initially, but again, I just want to mix things up a bit and stop getting to grips with long, long trailers. But anyway, let's jump on in it. Let's see if it's buzzing still. No, it's no longer buzzing at me. It's over 100, uh, 110, according to my gauge, 110 PSI. Right, let's take the trailer brake off. Let's take the parking brake off and let's put it into gear. Make sure I clear that. Um, where is the way out of this place? I'm hoping I can get out down here and this isn't just a block dead end. Otherwise I'm going to be having to turn around. I've got a feeling it is because I didn't want to turn right round in that small yard. I don't know why I went for that gear. Clutch that in then. I could have went for fourth on that, I guess. I'm hoping this isn't a dead end down here. Looking like a dead end to me. Yep, there's a lot of uh, ballards in a way. So I'm going to say ballards to that. And turn around in here, I guess. This is the only sensible answer I've got. You can see the steering axle actually, trailer axle should be lifted. It's down there, so I've got to pull that up. I'll leave it down for now. Just give me gives the trailer some extra guidance around this yard. I've missed driving this whole thing. You guys know I'm not a big fan of cab overs typically. I will drive them on Euro Truck, obviously, because Euro Truck legally that's what you could really drive. Apart from the Scania T, which seems to ooh, that's close. Seems to get round it somehow. I guess it's the shit length of the, the the engine on the front, I guess. Come on. Actually, I'm not going to go that way. I'm going that way. Try and take this as wide as I can so I don't cut that corner up. And keep the cl I don't need clutch in. I'm not good at in gear. Getting out of these is a nightmare. None of these people are going to be very nice and let me out. No, no, no. I'm not going to sm let that smell the old Mac out of the junction. I'm surprised the truckers don't, actually. I guess they're going too quick and they don't want to really jam on the brakes. I'm gonna jump out here. That guy's gonna have to wait. No, he's not gonna wait. Okay, he's just gonna go crashing right into me then. All right, dude. Well done. Even though I've probably got done for that, he crashed into me. I was already committed. That guy's gonna do exactly the same thing. 
So I'm going to have to drive ever so slowly forward until one of these Burks decide to stop. Like you. Thank you very much. There was nothing I could do there. I was already committed. Even if I had hit the brakes sooner, I'd have still been halfway across that road. Don't know what has done that damage wise. Have a quick look. Uh, diagnosis. You guys can't see it. I realised after. Oh, he's already done. Put two. So. That's an unfair comparison now. I'm going to have to get this all repaired. It's 3% engine damage, 1% gear box damage, 4% chassis damage, 3% bodywork damage. The tyres are not any different. They were at 11% anyway, and the trailer tyres are at 4%. I can't believe that. Typical. I thought maybe he'd just stop. He'd see me coming and think, okay, I'm going to stop. That guy's clearly going to be a lot bigger than I am. If I, if I plow into that, I'm not going to win. But nope, he just goes plowing on in anyway. Another Mac there, actually. Mac mix cement mixer. Ooh. Let's get that repaired. Ugh. It shouldn't have, wouldn't have that much bearing on it. it. If it's really high, then the engine starts getting engine malfunctions. But I think we'd be alright. The gears might. It might have some effects on the telemetry, but it shouldn't be overly much. I've decided between episodes as well, uh, between the last episode of the Kenny and the and this, um, I'm no longer going to try and be stupid with it and push it up to limiter on stupid roads like was before. If I I see an opportunity where I can, then I will. Um, but only if I see an opportunity where I can do it. If it gets to a point where it's just dangerous or stupid, I'm just not going to bother. Like on this road, this is fairly long and straight, so I might be able to get away with it on this. So I'm going to push it a little bit faster. And I'm going to be at oh, this train level crossing. Nice long and straight road here. It would be ideal for the... So I'm going to wind it right up. I doubt it's going to get there because off screen I've tried this. Uh, that's ended that opportunity then. Sorry, peeps. Unless another dual carriageway opens up, which I doubt.
Just trying to keep the momentum up. It's around about 65 along here, so it typically starts struggling around about here between 15 and 60 mark. Especially if you're on a gradient of any kind, it starts to let you know. Still got the lift axles down. I'll leave them down now as we're we're committed. We're driving. I can actually have them up because there's only 21 tons on the on this. As I said, I'm going to try and keep it around the 20 mark. I can't get it always spot on 20, so it's either going to be one 20, 19, 20, 21. Um, no more, no less than that. That's where the figures for each run are going to be set to just because realistically I can't always get guaranteed a 20 ton load I'm going to have to slow down here because this is going to be restricted speed limit come on come on no, you're not going to go, are you? Stop. Break on. Break off. Good for diesel, half a tank. Might as well get that trailer up now. And that should pick the trailer back up. Alright, let's double check. Yeah, that's lifted. Is that lifted it? Oh, it's dropped it again. So it was lifted all along. Weird. How it's sort of like. I guess once it. It's weird how it does that because you can sort of like. One minute's down, but it's not down, if you know what I mean. Next minute, well, it's up, but it's not up. That's what I really meant to say. Come on, get in there. Thank you. To be honest, typically I skip third and fourth with the clutch. We need to be on that road. Hope the train isn't coming. We could stop for diesel there and cut way through. Now I'm going to stay on the air, it's still pointless. Okay. Stop start traffic. Stop start traffic. The favourite kind of traffic you get. Checking oil temperature in it, water temperature. What air pressure? Air pressure and water, uh, water pressure. Oil pressure seem to be good as well. One of those sort of days, I think. Can't get my mouth in gear. Do some outside shots for you dudes. Oh, dudettes, wrong button. Is 
There's a red light. Nice. Turn green. Turn green. No. Oh, now you go green. I'll do stay out here to so you guys can hear it. Go for the gears. Oh dear. Got to jump back in the cab. Sorry, peeps. I only just got away with that, with that gear. Something I was thinking about doing at some point is bringing shift cam back. Now, for you guys older subscribers, you know exactly what I mean by shift cam. One point of time, I did do um, just after I bought my SKRS. I start. I did a couple of episodes where I was doing shift cam. Um, I think the reason I ditched it one, I think it was getting a bit of frame lag too. It was just it was coming a bit of a bit of a. Um, issue every time having to set it up um, I might bring it back I'm not sure definitely gonna keep sim dash or the sim dash up and running so you guys seem to like that I've not had any objections or anyone asking me to get rid of it until I do or get lots of people saying actually could you just get rid of it I'll keep it going Hopefully this summer I will, I'm not going to make it as a promise, but hopefully this summer I will try and get the Sim Dash upgraded, well updated, updated and I'm going to build a new box for it and I'll go into the how I set this up initially. I still don't know how I'm going to do it as a episode, I'm still a plan it in my head because um, it's quite a complicated bit of kit on the back of this. It's not straightforward. Um, on the back of this cluster is a load of little pin um, plug sockets with pins in it. And the only thing that really fits it, I've been told you can get away using a, a printer connector as well. Someone actually mentioned that to me at some point. Someone else has built one. I've not yet to try that and then it, again it'd be a case of having to sort of like dissect the printer cable you're gonna have to wait mate because I've got no choice I've got to be in that lane I don't think he was gonna wait at all and that could be pretty hard because they're quite the older style printer cables quite in depth, there are quite a lot of cables sort of bonded together. The only other way I could get around that is by using some male to female Arduino wire and then splicing that into the into the into the uh, card itself. I don't know, there's many things I need to think about as well, of aspects to this. I know I've got to sort out my earth problem on this as well, the problem I've got on this at the moment. Uh, the earth isn't great, um, I've, I kind of made a bit of a hash botch of it. I kind of like daisy chained a load of the earth cables together in a big um, kind of like a, no, I wouldn't say not, but they're like in a plat, 
plaited them together sort of thing which isn't ideal really I need what's known as an earth block um, for you guys that don't know what that is it's like a big metal block um, with several um, like screw holes in it which you can connect several cables together and it makes a common earth and then you just use one cable to earth that out if you've got a poor earth it, or if it's sitting on a poor earth that would improve it a lot that's all it's really going to do is just give me well just it it doesn't really affect the gauge as such um, gauge still operates it's just I noticed on the voltmeter for the actual gauge of this because it actually has a battery voltmeter that it roughly reads around 11 volts all the time it should be around about 12 in a real car or a truck it would obviously go up as the engine's running and down when the battery obviously the engine's not running and, not, and the battery's been drained but obviously because this is just the um, card the sim da or the sim projects card is just powered by a 12 volt adapter to get around that then it's always going to say 12 volts I know it isn't the adapter because I did a, a multimeter test on it I know it's something to do with bad earth once I've sorted out a lot of the earth so it should sort of like normalize cool Let's take it out of gear quickly. Put the brake on. Uh, the where do you want it? Go on. This could be. This could be the worst decision I've ever made because they typically are. And I decide. Oh, this ain't gonna be too bad. I might put the steering axle on just to give me a hand with some of this. I'll give it a bash first and see how it works out. Roughly around about here should do it. Put the hazards on. Always a blind corner. Always a blind corner in this game. Never been, I've been in probably one, two yards where it's been on, favoured me on my side of the truck. All I can guess is where the other side of the trailer is in respect to this. I think I'm cutting it a bit fine though, so I might come out of this. Swing it round a bit. I was probably alright, but I'd rather be safe than sorry and try that again. Again, I'm not trying to use my lift axle, I'm just going to try it without initially. I still think that's too close. I might be able to swing that back round. If I do the same again, come back out this way and not stall it. low low then that could have been because I dumped the clutch quite quickly right let's try again shall we that's more of a like angle I like Still not ideal. In real life, you'd want that trailer to be smack dam in the middle where that box is, so you could be unloaded more evenly. But that I'll do for government work, just for entertainment purposes. Right. 
and unload, says me. Excellent. Oh, we're going to leave it at that, peeps. I hope you guys and girls enjoyed the episode. If you did, um, please uh, f- feel free to like. Um, if you didn't enjoy the episode for any reason, again, guys and girls, please feel free to dislike. Leave a comment either way just to help me out along the way. And um, if you know anyone else that may also enjoy watching this, guys and girls, please feel free to share. It helps me out a lot. And I don't mind you sharing. And if you're new to my channel and you see future episodes of this or anything else I'm working on, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so then you're aware as soon as I upload a new video. I'll see you in the next one. TTFN. Bye.